Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel here, Darlington Farm. And this week I'm gonna show you guys my current welding rig setup as of October, 2022. So we're running a 2019 Ford F-250 with Power Stroke. This uh, is kind of the no frills one with uh, XLT, no crazy navigation system or any of that craziness. So I got it relatively cheap uh, currently. I have a Miller Pro 400 uh, in here. Uh, now this uh, is basically the exact same machine as a Pipe Pro, it just does not have the temperature gauge. Uh, I went ahead and got the top line X lined there because I got this off Iron Planet. I got a really good deal on it, but the top was a little scratched up and I wanted it to look a little more like a Pipe Pro. I think currently I have, let's see what we got here, about a thousand hours. I got a thousand and forty hours on it. And it just fits in my skid set up here between the toolboxes and the back of the truck. So we'll move on to the next toolboxes here. We have kind of this first compartment here. I keep my Milwaukee batteries. I keep stuff like squares and things like that, an extra set of gloves. Uh, some Sawzall blades, because if you do stainless steel uh, in food plants, a lot of times you're not allowed to use a grinder in clean rooms while they're in operation. So you got to use cold cutting methods like a porta band, a Sawzall, and Sawzalling stainless steel pipe sucks. But sometimes you got to do it. So I keep Sawzall, Sawzall blades around. Okay, so I keep a bunch of extra batteries in here. I don't know how many I keep on there, probably like at least eight. This is kind of embarrassing right here. This is kind of my mess of tools. I need to do some better organization. I've got a porta band, a drill, a driver, two six inch grinders, uh, one uh, five and a half inch Milwaukee, one five and a half inch Milwaukee flathead, which those things are awesome. And then I keep a Sawzall that usually lives kind of on the bottom there. And I think that's all that's in there at the moment. Oh, I'll keep a die grinder in there too. One of the Milwaukee fuel die grinders. Those things are really nice. Uh, next is a butt bucket because, you know, I stick weld also. And then back here, this is an amazing saw. This is the uh, Milwaukee metal saw. You can cut through half inch, three quarter inch plate with this thing. It'll cut, I think I've cut half inch stainless steel with it before. Just go slow. It'll, it'll do its thing, let it eat. Great saw. I uh, keep my short uh, whips back here. I'll keep a stinger uh, and a uh, ground cable, and then I keep a couple TIG torches. Um, I usually keep a fairly heavy 17 style torch, and then I usually keep a uh, lighter weight. Uh, I think they're usually just called like a Boilermaker torch. It's one of the flex head number nine torches that's, you know, actually takes a decent amount of current. I uh, usually leave that in there. I'll always leave like a copper braid in there. So if you're welding on stainless pipe, like you can just wrap that on the stainless pipe and you won't get arc burns or anything stupid on it like that and keep it looking nice. So moving on to the back of the truck here, I have my power and ground on Aluma Reel reels here. These are uh, just awesome, awesome reels. I really dig these. Uh, I keep 125 foot of power and ground. I keep 125 foot of shielding gas up here on top because I pretty much TIG weld most of the time. And then I keep always an argon bottle below there. And that just uh, hangs out there, always live, always hooked up where all I gotta do is turn the valve on and it's good to go for TIG because that's, like I said, oh, if you watch my other videos, that's pretty much what I do. Uh, up there, I've got a 150 foot of 12.3 uh, in a power configuration there where I can just spool off 150 foot of cord, which is really nice. And then I've got a torch over here, which for me is kind of unusual. I typically don't leave that in there. Um, I just have a project coming up here where it's actually a whole bunch of carbonized gal or carbon galvans, eh, carbon steel that's galvanized. So that's going to be really, really fun. Um, but uh, that's kind of unusual. Usually I'll take that off there to save weight. Next set, set of toolboxes here. Uh, I've got stainless TIG filler. I've got carbon steel TIG filler. I've got a level back in there, paper towels. Yeah, always, always paper towels, especially if you're doing uh, food grade stuff where you got to sop water out of a uh, pipe before you weld it. Paper towels are your friend. Uh, I usually keep a couple hammers up here, a bunch of tongs and vice grips. You can never have too many vice grips if you're a welder. Uh, I keep two drawers here just kind of with zip wheels and grinding discs, and I really should do a better job of organizing these at the moment, but uh, 
it's been kind of busy here lately and I have not really been the best at keeping up with uh, my truck. Uh, I keep uh, a wire brush that is just nothing but stainless steel, stainless steel only, just so I do not mix it in and accidentally use it on carbon steel. Uh, let's see, you know, you got your knee pads, you got your tape measure, you know, just kind of all your standard stuff like that. Uh, keep ratchet straps because that's really handy for like ratchet strapping up a pipe while you're cutting it to do something to it. Real, real handy to have around. Caution tape, you got to have that. I got a fire extinguisher in there and I got a bottle jack right next to it there. Uh, I still keep the old corded grinders around because nothing really eats or nothing cordless will eat just as fast as a six inch uh, corded grinder. So I keep one with a flap wheel on it. I keep one with a rock wheel on it, or excuse me, one with a zip wheel on it, and then one with a wire wheel on it, just for the few carbon steel pipe welds that I actually do, just so I can buff it. Uh, and then I'll keep rods back here. I usually keep one tube of 332nd, 60 tens, one tube of eighth inch, 60 tens, one tube, 332nd, 7018s, one tube of eighth inch, 7018s. And uh, that's pretty much all I ever bother keeping on the truck unless I'm specifically going out knowing that I'm gonna do something else. Uh, back of the truck, whoops, is kind of a disaster at the moment. Um, I guess I can let you see this. Uh, two welding hoods, my pancake usually lives up there. First aid kit, definitely keep a good first aid kit in your truck there, I've definitely seen some seen some gnarly workplace injuries. You got your hard hat, your high vis, all the usual stuff like that. I've got my speed glass papper hood down there. Your uh, Milwaukee radio, cause you gotta have some good tunes. Yeah, I gotta work to, you know, weld the Tyler Childers. That's kind of what I'm digging lately here. Uh, my steel toed boots, I don't really wear those unless I absolutely have to, just cause they're not really the most comfortable thing. And uh, yeah, keep all kinds of spare socks, beanies, you know, stuff like that, just to kind of make it less crappy when you're out working. And, you know, it sucks to get hosed with uh, some kind of food product and then, you know, have to walk around with that in your socks all day. So, you know, stuff like that. Uh, lately here, I've been buying pack out stuff. And then for this upcoming job, I've got a big Milwaukee corded saw that's going to live in the back of the truck for a little bit here. I'm fortunate to live out here in the country where nobody messes with anything, so I can just leave this stuff out here. And uh, yeah, that's going to be uh, used on this next job coming up here. And yeah, that's pretty much how I have my truck set up. The Pipe Pro, or the Pro 400 there, is set up so it's really easy to remove. Um, I kind of work back and forth between my SAE 300. Um, typically what I'll do is I'll run one oil change, Take, take the welder out, swap the other welder in. And with this lifting frame behind me here, it is really easy to just throw a chain fall on it. So I've got a trolley up there and I can just throw a chain fall on it. Chain fall or unbolt the welder, chain fall it up, slide it over, lower it, pop the new one in. Really easy, I've got it down where it's fairly quick. And I actually may be taking my latest welder purchase here. This is a 325, or excuse me, 302 diesel um, that I just got. And I just got that guy off Marketplace for next to nothing. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I didn't really need another engine drive, but like I said, it was just a super, super deal. And uh, I couldn't say no to it. Uh, I built a frame for when I used to run a 302 uh, propane in this truck. Uh, that'll bolt right in there. So I may throw this in the truck here and run it for a little bit. I haven't decided yet. I've gone through it and uh, welded with it a bunch and it seems like it's a pretty solid machine. Not as nice a stick welder as the, uh, as the Pipe Pro and the Lincoln, but you know, it's a lot smaller and lighter. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please hit that subscribe button down there and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And uh, thank you for watching.